Hello, and welcome. In this video, we will solve a circuit problem using the superposition theorem. The problem asks us to use superposition to find the voltage Vx in the circuit shown. Let's first examine the circuit diagram. On the far left, we have a 20 volt DC voltage source. This is connected in series with a 2 ohm resistor. The voltage at the node to the right of this resistor is labeled Vx. Connected to the same node, we have a 4 amp DC current source with the arrow pointing upwards. In parallel with this current source is a 4 ohm resistor, which is connected between the VX node and ground. Finally, on the right side, we have a dependent current source, also with its arrow pointing upwards. Its value is dependent on the voltage VX, and is given as 0.1 times VX. The bottom wire of the entire circuit is connected to ground. The solution will use the principle of superposition. This means we can find the total voltage, Vx, by calculating the contribution from each independent source separately and then adding them together. So, we can write the equation, Vx equals Vx prime plus Vx double prime. Here, Vx prime is the voltage at that node due to only the 20 volt voltage source. And Vx double prime is the voltage at that node due to only the 4 amp current source. Let's begin with the first part, finding Vx prime. To find Vx prime, we need to consider the 20 volt source and set the 4 amp current source to zero. Setting an ideal current source to zero is equivalent to replacing it with an open circuit. The dependent source remains in the circuit, but its value will now be dependent on Vx prime, so it becomes 0.1 times Vx prime. Now, we will apply Kirchhoff's current law, or KCL, at the node labeled node 1, where the voltage is Vx prime. KCL states that the sum of currents entering a node must equal the sum of currents leaving it. Looking at the diagram for this step, we can define the currents. Let's call the current flowing from the 20 volt source through the resistor I1. This current enters the node. The dependent current source, with a value of 0.1 Vx prime, also enters the node. The current flowing down through the 4 ohm resistor, let's call it I2, leaves the node. So, our KCL equation is, I1 plus 0.1 Vx prime equals I2. Now, we'll express these currents using Ohm's law. The current I1 is the voltage difference across the resistor divided by its resistance. The calculation in the image shows this as, open parenthesis, 20 minus Vx prime, close parenthesis, all divided by 20. We add the current from the dependent source, which is plus 0.1 Vx prime. This sum is equal to the current I2 which is the voltage Vx prime divided by the 4 ohm resistance. So, I2 is Vx prime divided by 4. Our full equation is, 20 minus Vx prime, all divided by 20, plus 0.1 Vx prime, equals Vx prime divided by 4. To solve for Vx prime, let's move all terms to one side of the equation. This gives us 20 divided by 20, minus Vx prime divided by 20, plus 0.1 Vx prime, minus Vx prime divided by 4, all equals 0. Let's simplify this. 20 divided by 20 is 1. Now, let's combine all the terms containing Vx prime. We have minus Vx prime divided by 20, plus 0.1 Vx prime, minus Vx prime divided by 4. This simplifies to minus 0.2 Vx prime. So, the equation becomes, 1 minus 0.2 Vx prime equals 0. By adding 0.2 Vx prime to both sides, we get 1 equals 0.2 Vx prime. Finally, to find Vx prime, we divide 1 by 0.2. Vx prime equals 1 divided by 0.2, which equals 5. So, we have found that Vx prime is 5 volts. Now for the second part of the problem, finding Vx double prime. To find Vx double prime, we set the 20 volt voltage source to zero and keep the 4 amp current source active. Setting an ideal voltage source to zero is equivalent to replacing it with a short circuit or a simple wire. The dependent source will now have a value of 0.1 times Vx double prime. We will apply KCL at the node where the voltage is Vx double prime. The currents entering this node are from the 4 amp source and the dependent source. So, the total current entering is 4 plus 0.1 Vx double prime. The currents leaving the node are I1, which flows to the left through the resistor, and I2, 
which flows down through the 4 ohm resistor. So, our KCL equation is, for plus 0.1 Vx double prime equals I1 plus I2. Now, let's express I1 and I2 in terms of Vx double prime. The current I1 is the voltage Vx double prime divided by the resistance. The calculation in the image shows this as Vx double prime divided by 20. The current I2 is Vx double prime divided by 4. So, the equation becomes, for plus 0.1 Vx double prime equals Vx double prime divided by 20, plus Vx double prime divided by 4. Let's rearrange the equation to solve for Vx double prime by moving all terms with Vx double prime to one side. For plus 0.1 Vx double prime, minus Vx double prime divided by 20, minus Vx double prime divided by 4, equals 0. Now, we combine the terms with Vx double prime. We have 0.1 Vx double prime, minus Vx double prime divided by 20, minus Vx double prime divided by 4. This simplifies to minus 0.2 Vx double prime. The equation is now, for minus 0.2 Vx double prime equals 0. Adding 0.2 Vx double prime to both sides gives us, for equals 0.2 Vx double prime. To find Vx double prime, we divide 4 by 0.2. Vx double prime equals 4 divided by 0 0.2, which equals 20. So, Vx double prime is 20 volts. We have now found both components of the voltage Vx. The final step is to add them together. Vx equals Vx prime plus Vx double prime. Substituting the values we calculated. Vx equals 5 plus 20. This gives us a final result of 25. Therefore, the voltage Vx in the circuit is 25 volts.